G'day, I'm the Home Distiller. Not a uh, long video today. I've, uh, we're taking the side off, or the back off the lathe to uh, make the pattern to fit the motor. Um, so I'll remove the old motor, measure up, draw up a quick little plan and make the pattern to uh, mount the new motor. And as you can see, I've changed, they had some dodgy, weird ass plug on it, so I've changed it to a standard, I um, can't remember what type they are. Right, it's basically a standard computer plug. They've got one of the uh, male types up the top, but they had some weird round plug on the other side, so. I wanted something a bit more standard, uh, and just as I thought, there was nuts on the back. And uh as you can see, a tooth belt no longer very toothed. It's more like a smooth belt now. And there you go, there's a couple of teeth left there. Not much though. Piece of crap. Okay. So there's our motor gone. Okay, so that's my little sketch. So we're 140 millimeters wide and 55 millimeter radius on the motor. So um, what we'll try and do is I'm not sure whether I'll 3D print it or um, Or just make that out of wood. Well, as you can see, I decided I would make it out of wood. I'm just using uh, MDF, and um, I'm putting a five degree uh, draft on all the sides. You just got to make sure you get the uh, draft all facing the right direction. And because of the angle, I just found it a bit easier to kind of sneak up on it a little, on the dimensions a little bit. 
just rough it and then cut them down properly to size. So I made it just a couple of millimetres um, oversize. And now I'm cutting the uh, the 45 to um, mount the actual motor against. Again, make sure you put draft on the square edge. You can have no square edges on the pattern or it won't pull from the sand cleanly. So as I said, I'm putting about 5 degrees of draft on it. And on the ends, so I'm just cutting one end. Just lining that up and running a pencil line across the back. Okay, so that's our basic pattern. It's going up, but that's that's how I'm gonna run it, I think. And the motor will just cradle inside there like that. I think that will hold it quite stable. So here I'm just measuring the uh, centre. Uh, my first batch of lines went straight because I uh, my pattern isn't isn't quite square, which doesn't particularly matter because it'll be uh, milled down a little bit, and for the application it's being used for, it doesn't really matter at all anyway. So I'm just taking one side down. And putting one nail in the other and lining it up so it's parallel. Which I end up having to adjust a little bit anyway. Um, by just putting the motor inside and making sure it had no twist. Okay, so the motor's sitting in its pattern, just to make sure that everything's straight. There's no wibble wobble. So that can set up overnight and then uh, we'll go from there. So that's the pattern made up. Uh, hopefully next week we get to cast it. I'm Homestiller. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.